This video will teach you how to do a basic search in a PubMed database. PubMed contains more than 30 million citations and abstracts and is a good source for scholarly articles in the areas of biomedicine, health, life sciences, behavioral sciences, chemical sciences, and bioengineering. Let's do a basic search. I'm going to search Marfan syndrome. PubMed gave me a result of over 7,000 articles, so I'm going to narrow my search by clicking the options on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to click Free Full Text, published in the last five years, and I don't speak any languages other than English, so I'm going to modify my search by choosing the additional filter on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to click Language, the English box, and the blue Show box. I now have an English box on the left-hand side of the screen that I'm going to click. Now all the articles the PubMed sends me are in English language. You may need to find a review in PubMed for your paper. A review is an article where the author reviews another author's original research, work, or clinical trial. Click the review box on the left-hand side to restrict the results to only reviews. You'll notice that every time I make another restriction on my research, the number of articles returned goes down. Let's look at the first article on the results list. There's a title, authors, the name of the journal, the date of the publication, and the issue and page numbers. The abstract describes what the article is about. Let's click on the title that's hyperlinked. Click the free full text PMC box on the upper right hand side to see the full article. It opens in a separate window. Choose the first tab again. We are now back in the PubMed database. Let's go back to the results screen. Click Search Results in the upper left-hand side. In each article result, you can use the Cite link to compose a citation for your references or works cited page. Click the Cite link under the article and a box with the citation pops up. Choose the citation method by clicking the arrows on the right-hand side of the box. I'm going to choose APA. Then click the Copy button and copy the citation to your clipboard. You may now paste that into your Word document. Click outside the box to close it. You can also use the share link to copy a permalink. A permalink is a persistent link that allows anyone who has it to access the article. This is a useful link to use in your citation. Click the pages icon to copy the permalink. Then paste it into your Word document or an email. Click outside the box to close it. You can also use the Save and Email buttons at the top of the page to send many articles to yourself at one time. Click the box to the left of the title in each of the articles 
and then click the email button at the top of the page. Add an email address that you check regularly, a subject line, and the I'm not a robot box, and then the blue send email button at the bottom. You have now learned how to do a basic search in PubMed database. If you have any questions about using PubMed, narrowing your search, or accessing the full text of an article, ask one of the librarians.